Hello friends, welcome to the new video of React Native. So today we are going to learn how to play sounds in React Native using the React Native sound. So let's get started. So those who haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. And please do like hit this video if you like it. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to install this command npm install React Native sound. So I have already installed this one. So this is installed. Okay, by running this command. Okay. And what next we need to go with this code with the app.js file. So I'm going to add this in app.js file. Okay. To play the sound. And let's copy this one and copy. And here we go with the code. Uh, excuse. And we have uh, where we are go with the app.js is there. Here we go with the app.js. It's previous code for the e-commerce app. Now we are going to add our code. Okay. So we have added this code. Let's check about it. And let's check React Native Sound. React Native Sound Package. Okay. So here we go with the 441 downloads. Okay. So you can see that uh, is there. We have to link it. So we need to copy this and link it with this one. <coughs> Okay, so React Native link, React Native sound, it's not working. Uh, which version I'm using with the React Native package.json? But it should be there, I guess. Okay, let's do the manual process then. GitHub for the this React Native sound wiki installation. This uh, React Native link sound. Okay, uh, it is not doing it with unrecognized command manual installation. Okay, Android settings dot Gradle. So we need to copy this. We need to go with the settings Android settings dot Gradle. So we have Android settings dot Gradle where it is settings dot Gradle. Okay, open it. We need to add this one over here. So let's add this. Okay, view word wrap. So we have added this one, React Native Sound. What is the next procedure we have? Then we have to add Android app build.gradle in dependencies. Android app build.gradle. So we go with the Android app build.gradle. So we have this one. Open this. Then we need to add this in the dependencies. So where we go with the dependencies, let's search it. Dependencies. So I'm going to add this one. Here, compile project. Okay. So moving to the next, we have in the dependency section, Android app source main Java app main application dot java so we need to go with source main so here we got source main java application uh, dot com exos main application dot java open it and we need to add this package over here okay and uh, we have to add this line also that is a new uh, rn package so here we go with where it is it is here return packages i need to add over here okay this is added what next and uh, the main activity dot java we need to add this import for the older versions of react native so we don't require it okay so this is done i'm going to open my vs code sorry android studio to make a build of it let's see it's open and it's which project it is already it's e-commerce okay so i'm going to file open Open project that is a react native exios android okay this window let's do the compilation of the project So many errors are coming. So let's see. Problem error. Error cannot find the method compile for the arguments react native sound. 
so where it we have added the react native sound in settings no in the build dot gradle i think we need to remove this one over here and let's run this run It still is, is in progress now. Let's see. So now the build is successful. Let's install it. Is there any issue in that mean application dot package? So here the error is. So let's put the comma over here. Let's run it. So it's installing the build now. You can see that install is there. So it's opening now, unable to load the scripts. So let me open this terminal and let's run the username thing. So here we go with the React Native Cache. reload so it says that resources sample mp3 unable it's getting it uh, none of the file exist resources okay where the file exists basically uh, where we go with this one app.js Excuse. Open terminal and let me open with the code. So here we go with the app.js. Okay. And in app.js, we have resources, right? So it's on the same folder, I guess. Let me ch maybe double tick. It may be required. So here we go with the URLs. 
Can we add this? I think this is the URL. So, okay, save this and reload this. Again, they have the issue. Reload. Same sample and double quotes. So, it could be like this one. Resources. This and this. Uh, we'll go with resources. So URL it is not getting. Let's skip this one. I will uh, show you in the next video. Let me go with the, the flow where we go with this uh, this one. So let's comment this one in this array. And this one which we are using this that is from the local URL. We will check this. I guess the path have some issues. Maybe they have the resource and they have the resources I guess. And here we go with the resources I guess. Let's see. So I think here we go with this one, one folder back, this, this should be resources and one folder back with the resources. I forget about it, resources, okay and then save it, then go to here, reload this, okay and let's see, yeah, it's working fine. So let me open with my any desk. So any desk is there, and let me open here any desk also any desk. So where is my any desk? Is this is the any desk mine, and it's connecting. Accept, accept, and let's see. So you can see that we have the play music in React Native. So you can see that we can play it. Okay, then stop it. It stop play and and stop so this is how this is how we can uh, play and stop with this part like so you can see that we have already fetched everything from the local URL also and from the live URL also so this is how we can do the stuffs okay so let's analyze the code also at the same moment okay so let me you know co compare with the react native sound okay so here we can go with this functionality okay here we can see that we need to implement the new sound okay so you need to sound, uh, sound set a category whether it is playback or something okay so let's see what we are doing here as so you can see that first of all let's go to the render part so we have return and uh, we have touch up is uh, here we have uh, where is the item view so you can see that and where is the return part full part this one okay safe area view styles container text play music and this audio list dot map view so where is audio list this is the audio list okay which is all the uh, area of object and then we have item view so go to the item view here so in the item view what they're receiving item and the index okay so in the item index on press we have a play sound and stop sound in the play sound what they are doing we are uh, getting the item URL because we have the URL okay and then we are consoling and sound with the sound one dot release and with then we have a stop okay play here and you can see play sound dot three release okay and then after the pause one where is the pause stop if you go to the sound stop sound then we have a sound one dot stop two three so you can see that we have a stop function so you can see that in the react native sound also you can see that we have a stop function okay so get volume number of loops so set current time you can set all of all of those things right then we have a stop pause play okay release release the audio player so uh, when i click on that you can see that when i click on this where is my desk and when i click on this uh, release but release is called the event stop on the stop uh, event is calling so you, this is how we can make a music player you can see that or you can play the music you know, like this okay whenever you want something like this so you can add so you just use this react native sound if sound one right any query any issue in that let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day